the rare and impactful storm is slamming the Golden State as Southern California uh, expected to experience their worst winter storm in decades. Fox Weather's Nicole Valdez is live in Mount Baldy, California. Nicole, we can see some of the light snow showers behind you. It looks like a lot of the activity in terms of snow has subsided. But you know, how have you seen conditions change uh, throughout the afternoon? Absolutely, Bridget. Every hour, it's something different. Sometimes it's freezing rain, grapple, snow, a mixture of the three. I mean, it's it's really been a, a very interesting day here. And again, that changes depending on how high an elevation you are. So where we're standing here on Mont Baldy, it's about three, uh, excuse me, 3,500 feet. But if you look in the distance here, where we're going to zoom out and show you some of the higher peaks in this area, they're likely seeing a lot more of that snow accumulation that we've been really predicting throughout the day today. And you'll notice you can't see the peaks of those mountains because of, again, the where those clouds are sitting. You're also noticing, the, again, the poor visibility there. That's the main problem that we've been really facing with this system is those blizzard-like conditions with very strong wind gusts making it really hard to see, especially if you're driving up or down one of these mountains. So not something anyone is advising you to do, especially California Highway Patrol. Not only have they closed down several major interstates along the Golden State, but right where we are, Mount Baldy, this road that heads up to the resort and the town here has already been closed down, recognizing that as the night, as really we get into that nightfall, uh, this is going to be a very dangerous place and not something that's going to be easy to navigate. So they want to keep people out of those areas. But the snowfall has been relentless. Already, Mount Baldy Resort recording more than a foot of snow. That could eventually see maybe three to five feet of snow once this storm is over, maybe by Saturday afternoon. But it's been a, a lot of different things, really, Bridget, today. I think that the key here here is the danger that lies while yes we talk about really the rarity of this and how you know kind of crazy it is to see snow in some of these low elevation areas in southern california you have to remember that most people here aren't used to it maybe have never driven in it so they're not you they're not excuse me they are not really sure how to navigate how to act how to drive in these conditions and that's where we start to see crashes uh, people getting stuck on the freeways car sliding off so really if you don't need to go anywhere through the weekend maybe at least till saturday your best bet is to just ride this storm out at home because again you're recognizing and you're seeing video there of not only uh, this freeways being closed down preemptively we're also seeing those power outages now flooding in la i mean it's just a little chaotic and and truthfully a, a good time to try to stay home and avoid those problems. It's a good point. Staying home, avoiding some of the problems. But like you mentioned, not a lot of people are used to this type of weather. So are you finding that people are trying to head out, head up to the higher terrain and kind of get a glimpse of some of the snow that so rarely falls in some of this terrain? A handful of cars here, yes, but again, because the California Highway Patrol is trying to sort of prevent that and close a lot of these roads heading up into those higher elevation communities before that happens, thankfully, we're not seeing a lot of people making that journey. We are seeing, again, those snow plows, they have been busy all day long. They are up and down this road pretty much every few minutes trying to keep it clear, probably for those either emergency crews or those who do live in areas, uh, again, in those higher elevation that may need to get out. They want to make sure that it's safe to do so. So that's what's been really what we're seeing here. Uh, thankfully, again, I think those closures are going to prevent a lot of major, major issues. Right. Being managed there by the Highway Patrol. Fox Weather's Nicole Valdez reporting. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.